BMW 325iX all-wheel drive system relies on a Ferguson viscous coupling in the transfer case to provide limited slip between the front axle and the rear axle. How do you know if your 325iX has a good viscous coupling? They have a failure mode that involves the viscous coupling being overheated and then it's just an open differential. So, e-brake is on. Transmission's in neutral. Three of the four tires are on the ground. And one of the front tires, doesn't matter which, is raised with a jack so that the tire is free of the ground. Now, try to rotate the tire. A blown viscous coupling will allow the front tire to rotate easily. You could do it with a finger. A good viscous coupling provides steady resistance to the turning of the wheel in either direction. Because the transmission is in neutral and the other front tire is on the ground, the turning motion imparted here is going into the transfer case and forcing the viscous coupling to spin and it's a resistance to spinning that you see here. That is a good viscous coupling. 